Hey, what's up everybody? December 5th, 2019. This is the aftermath of the storm we just had. So some numbers you guys might want to hear is uh, zero snow from this new one. We actually lost a lot of snow because of this storm. Look at this. We got about two and a half inches of rain though at the Big Bear Dam. Thank you, Gabriel, for that information. Much appreciated. Gabriel Magana, the guy's the man. Just love him to death. Love his family to death. They're amazing people. Please pray for them. Or if you don't pray, do whatever. Think about them, you know? Um, anyway, very cool people. But yeah, so we got two and a half inches of rain up here. If it would have been snow, we probably would have got as much snow as we did uh, just about on this last snowstorm. Another few feet. But unfortunately, that did not happen. We got nothing but rain. I mean, look at how little snow is left. Isn't this incredible, you guys? Like, I... I really expected this to be here till Christmas, even though we'd get temperatures in the 40s and 50s during the day. I expected this to last until Christmas. I just, this is absolutely incredible to me. We got pounded with snow and then mother nature decided to say, yeah, but we're not gonna let it last. We're not gonna let you guys have fun on the mountain. We're gonna make it nasty and just, just, ugh, just all the rain is just gonna be so nasty for you. If you fall, you're gonna get wet water's going to get in between your seams and stuff. I don't know. I feel really bad for you guys that love to ski and love to snowboard and can't take much time off of work. And then you take time off of work and then you have to deal with this. It's such a bummer. It's such a bummer. I've had to experience that in my past when I used to live down the hill and drive up here all the time to go ski. So... <coughs> But that cloud straight ahead, that's pretty cool, huh? Over by the dam. This is not cool though. All right. I'm telling you guys, at that McDonald's there, like, uh, She's 21, so she's really young, but my God, she's so freaking beautiful. I can't even remember her name, I'm so rude. Seen her for a long time, but like, she is like one of the most beautiful girls in, in this town, and she's been working there for like three years. I'm like 39, like what the hell do I want with like a 21 year old? They haven't been through anything, they haven't learned anything yet. It would be just probably drama, 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 but then again, she's such a responsible young girl. like so responsible she's a manager there she has been for years like um always working just very responsible anyway i don't know why i was e even <laughs> bringing her up but she's a cutie pie anyway hopefully she's not watching because i forgot her name so that would be very rude she's super hot i mean fine you can say all right so we're gonna drive through l village L Village. The Village. So I just woke up. I know I'm really lazy. It's 1 120. But some of the business calls I got, I was able to push them off a little bit. So that's good. That's the best part about becoming friends with a lot of people up here is that I know once in a while they'll let me slide, they'll let me take a break instead of just calling someone else. Because in my industry, if if you're lazy, they'll find someone else. And then if that other person has any, any, you know, anything decent, they'll go through that person all the time. So that's why I'm always willing to help people out no matter what, whenever they need it. <coughs> so yeah, this is gonna be a short video, maybe six minutes long. Oh, there's Mike. There's Mike. Yeah, let me train horn him. Hang on a second. I haven't been talking to him lately, unfortunately. I jumped to lots of conclusions and stuff. Okay, so he's not gonna be able to, hold on, one second. Mike! <laughs> Esau, Esau. <laughs> Now we gotta deal with that for five minutes. Ah, oh, I'm sorry guys. Then two of my other 
good friends. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna. I can't mention where people work just in case their bosses see this. I'd hate for them to lose their job because of me. Just because they're they're doing something legal. It's amazing to me that there haven't been any major lawsuits yet regarding uh, drug testing in California because it's supposedly legal. Why wouldn't they give you a job if you fail a marijuana test? Marijuana stays in your system 30 days plus. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why wouldn't they give you a job? It's not like you're going to come into work high. Not like you're going to come into work drunk, right? So I don't get it. Just give people the benefit of the doubt like you do with alcohol. And if you catch them, then fire them. Pretty simple. But I think there's some major lawsuits waiting to happen. And I encourage people. I hate lawsuits, but I encourage you out there to fight with to fight this. This is the only means that we have to, you know, to being treated fairly is lawsuits, unfortunately. It sucks. Really sucks. Oh. Hell yeah. Hello. Cute dog. Cute doggy. Dog had some legs on it. So this is the village, guys and gals, and unicorns and rainbows, and whatever you identify as. You can identify as a Christmas tree. Okay, are we in an emergency situation? Hold on, oh, yes. He wants me to wait, so we're just gonna wait a second. <coughs> Thank you. Keep up the good work, guys. I hope everyone's okay, man. I hate seeing that. Now, that is such a beautiful view, though, isn't it, right there? That really is. I guess this video is going to be a little longer than anticipated, so forgive me. Fuck, give me. Fuck, give me. It sounded like I was going to say a bad word there, huh? Fuck, give me. Go fuck, give me. <laughs> fuck, give myself. Go fuck, give yourself. Dude, shut up back there. I'm tired of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Problems, problems, problems. <coughs> oh, that, that didn't feel too good. It feels like, oh man, it feels like my liver. Jeez. That hurts. It does not feel good. Hope that goes away or I'm gonna have to go to the doctor later. Cause that's bad, that's not a good feeling right there. I'm not being a hypochondriac, like I'm, I'm not telling you that does not feel good, but I'll be okay. If anything bad happens, I hope it takes me like immediately, not painfully, nothing. I just hope something just like, just like stops me, just shuts me down, done. I don't wanna have any pain if I die. When I die, not if. Wouldn't that be cool if we get to a point in humanity or in just uh, where we can talk about, you know, if we die, <laughs> you know, like imagine the only way we can die is not from natural causes. That would be pretty nuts, huh? But having somebody for 500 years and being close with them for 500 years and then they getting into a car accident and dying or something, that would be just gnarly. That would be gnarly. I mean, I've only known my mom and dad for 39 years, but if anything ever happened to them, which I know both of them are not doing well, and it's very scary for me. They're older, too. Um, if anything happened to them, man, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. But I know it would be... Um, I don't know. I don't know what would happen. I'd probably do something stupid. I'd probably either end up dead or in jail or something. But I know I would do something stupid. Not towards other people. 
but I would just do some stupid stuff. I'm a mama's boy big time. Anyway guys, we're here, and for the privacy of my customer slash friend, I got a few of them in this neighborhood. We're just gonna have to, uh, Up. All right. Peace. Love you guys. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, and that thing's still going. Can you believe it? It's just shut off just about now. You know what? I'm gonna tell you. You better shut up on the count of three. One, two, three. Shut up. It just doesn't want to listen to me. So frustrating. So frustrating. Okay. this perspective because this is the perspective that most of you are used to when you drive into town and as a kid I always used to look at this sign every time we would drive by to look at the temperature man I hate I hate getting older you guys this just sucks and the older you get you realize how fast life goes by I'm telling you man as a kid decades seemed like forever and and then once I got to be 30 I'm telling you man decades go by quickly holy cow it's not just cliche or this and that it's absolute truth you guys all you youngins out there please my gosh enjoy yourselves take advantage of the time you have fully be the best person oh look at that delorean damn it fully be the best pe the best people you can be because we don't have a lot of time here i'm telling you right now man and as a kid when i had a lot of struggles i wish time would just go by fast so i could be this age right now and, and then and then look back and be okay. And when I think about it, it's like, holy crap, I did literally blink my eyes and I'm looking back on those days when I said, gosh, I wish I was 40 years old so I don't have to deal with this stuff anymore. Deal with all these mean kids or like deal with this or that. Because when people get older, they're typically more mature, right? Oh, thank God that thing's done. So that's what I was hoping for. But yeah, I was bullied a bit. I used to stutter a lot, but when I stood up for myself and uh, put some kid to sleep, and dude, I could not freaking believe it. I could not freaking believe it, dude. I was so scared, you guys. I was so scared. But I put this kid to sleep. I punched him one time and he literally started snoring. Literally started snoring. Dropped like a sack of potatoes. I'm a little guy, but I was always the fastest pitcher in my baseball leagues every year. The smallest kid, but for some reason, man, my fundamentals and uh, just my natural ability, I, it's just my arms like a slingshot. So I have that power there. And uh, I just hit hit the guy right in the jaw. And he, like, before he even hit the ground, he started snoring and it scared the crap out of me. I didn't know what was happening. I, I thought he was dying. Like, it really scared me. But right from that point on, it changed my whole outlook on everything. Cause I used to be so scared. Oh my gosh, terrified of fighting terrified of anybody giving me shit like like because I you know I, I don't know why but I was just really scared until I until I stood up for myself someone made me stand up for myself and I'll never forget him thank you again bro he made me stand up for me and uh I'm telling you what I got so much respect after that being one of the little kids who knocked out this guy who was like three inches taller than me back then man I mean, knocked him out. I'm telling you, everybody thought I was just the coolest freaking kid ever. People who never talked to me were talking to me daily, um, wanting to hang out with me and stuff. So then I got to a point where I started to like to fight a bit and uh, because I thought I was good at it. And then I got my ass really handed to me. Um, I really, really, really bad. Both eyes swollen shut, um, nose broken. Um, uh, I'm sure I fractured my jaw because I couldn't move it for like a month, but I didn't go to the hospital. Um, you know, cause you don't go to the hospital for stuff like that when, when you're running your mouth and then you get your ass kicked. Um, so I thought I was so tough because I knocked that one dude out and then I realized very quickly how tough I was not, <laughs> but I will stand up for myself. And that's something I'm very, very, very proud of. And that's something that I hope all of you do too. As a kid, my mom always taught me to kill them with kindness 
and stuff like that, which I'll tell you worked a, a lot of the time. But there are those certain people who that doesn't work and they'll keep on pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. I'm telling you right now, don't take that. Do not take that, okay? You don't have to throw the first punch, but don't take it. Stand up for yourself. And if it gets to the point where they're gonna throw a punch, let them throw a punch because they'll get in trouble. They'll go to jail. You're not gonna die from getting hit. I mean, it's so unlikely. It's, it's about as unlikely. Yeah, it's just unlikely. So just, you know, it's not gonna feel good but it is what it is. So anyway, that's kind of a, a short little tale about uh, my past and what I've been through. And I've been a punk rocker for most of my years. I used to go to punk rock shows all the time with my leather jacket, my spikes, my patches, and um, my mohawks and trihawks and, and liberty spikes. And just, man, like, like I, I miss those punk rock days because that was freedom too. I think that's why I'm enjoying this whole motorcycle thing because it reminds me of my punk rock days where like we could do anything walking around with a group of punkers with our patches on and stuff. We got lots of respect. Um, no one wanted to mess with us because we just looked, we looked intimidating. Um, and I, I'm telling you, I had some big monsters, man. We had some monsters in our crews. Woo! Just some big brutes. I'm telling you. I mean, these guys are enforcers, sergeant at arms type of people. But anyway, yeah, so that's my that's my life, and uh, baseball was the main part of my life growing up, and that should have been my future. But as you guys have probably heard, don't should on yourself. Anyway, love you guys a lot. This is what's remaining of the snow. As a matter of fact, you know what? Uh, there was no one in that lane, so we're just going to go over here, and we're going to drive up here to Snow Summit real to Snow Summit real quick. I didn't want this to be a super long video, but I just want you guys to see what it looks like. So this is the back way into Snow Summit. This is the exit, technically. how beautiful the homes were on this street right here can't imagine how pricey these are to rent though especially this time of year man i just can't imagine no resort access on thrust drive lot closed do not enter no problem i'm not entering my friend i really hope they don't get pissed at me oh they are they're gonna get pissed i'm gonna go up here real quick <laughs> able to get through here I don't think I think it they block it off at the end of this parking lot let's see pretty sure they do yep I'm just gonna have to turn around right here so these apartments are sweet man I'd love to live here but I don't, well actually I could afford it but I don't want to spend all, all my money on rent I'd like to be able to enjoy life so that's why I'm realizing that these small little houses man these are perfect for me um, and I make them as comfortable as I can. Even though I rent, I upgrade the houses tremendously and the landlords just love me. I'm like the best tenant ever. I put $12,000 into this little tiny place. I put in wood floors. I repainted everything inside. Um, I put in the nicest blinds you could get. The next, the next most expensive thing to plantation shutters um, because my window sills are very narrow so the plantation shutters just wouldn't fit right. It would just look funny. So we did that and then... Uh, Let's see here. Um, what else did I do? I've replaced the water heater. Um, let's see. I had a like a, like six new amps of electricity put in or something like that um, for when I was growing. I had quite a grow. But yeah, so anyway. Uh, yeah, we're driving kind of alongside parallel to Snow Summit, which is over here. And I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. Okay, we're going to see if they'll let me go up here for a second. Alright, hopefully she doesn't get pissed. Or he. It looks like a she with the hips. Let's see. I can't tell from here. 
question for you. I was wondering if there's any chance I could just, just make a, a U-turn real quick just to show my YouTube fans what the mountain's looking like. Literally 30 seconds. I swear to God, 30 seconds. Maybe 25. Um, Maybe 25. Just like you're just gonna- I swear, I'm, I'm just gonna go right there, flip a bitch. I used to work for Jason here. I used to work for Steve LaCroix at Bear. Okay. I promise you, I'm not gonna do anything shady. All right, yeah. She bought it, guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she bought it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, and I'm Nick, Nick Amstetter. Oh, I'm Allie. AKA Mr. Nice Guy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Allie. Bye. That was really nice. I like flirting with them. They're cute. Okay, so this is what we are doing. Let's just get a good little view right here. People are having a blast. People are having a blast. All right, guys. Well, I told her 25 seconds, so we're not going to screw that up. She was very kind to let us through. Thank you. It's uh, the channel's Big Bear Weather and More. Okay. Bye. All right. Little cutie. I mean, look, there's just no more snow out out here. <laughs> that little kid was running away from his mom. That was so cute. All right. Thank you guys a lot. We're probably going to shut this down right now. Peace out. Love you guys big time.